Well, people should uh, visit uh, Shape to Fabrication because uh, it's an immersion in a lot of different fields of creativity that use this very interesting tool set. We try to get a, an array of people from you know, small firms, large firms, makers, architects, engineers, designers. It's that diversity that makes it attractive to me. I must say I really appreciated the people because you really feel the team feeling that there are all these forums, we also have our own forum, people have problems, questions that sometimes someone else is answering. It's not necessarily from the company itself. I think it's all about collaboration with people on this event and how you interact with these people and how you ask them questions. I mean, we have David Ratton here. Like, uh, what are the chances that you get to actually talk to the person that designed this tool and wrote this tool for you, for you to be able to do your designs? The organizers from Simply Rhino are able to gather really important people, big influencers in the industry uh, that use the products, that use Rhino, that use Grasshopper. Uh, they, they basically gather them at one place and everyone speaks about their projects. The attendees and the, and, the, and the speakers usually love the nitty-gritty stuff, you know, and, and everybody shows work in progress usually. So it's not about the final picture uh, or, or pretty renderings, but it's about the process. So there is this willingness of sharing and of uh, communication, um, collaboration. There isn't really any kind of strong egos or uh, you know, that would prevent this. Uh, it's generally a super lovely set of people that are moving all of this forward. You really see where the design process and the building process in architecture is going to, right? What are the changes coming in the next years? Because we architects, we just can, can work with the tools other people are developing. Um, and, uh, you know, like we are as good as the, as, uh, as the tools provided to us. Uh, and so even if, you, if you're not from an architectural background, or if you do anything creative at all, you will definitely find inspiration here.